Live look at that rally happening right now at the Manny Ellis mural in Tacoma. For the last two hours, family and community members have been outside reacting to the jury's decision today. Just hours ago, the verdict came down that officers Matthew Collins, Christopher Burbank, and Timothy Rankin were not guilty in connection to Ellis's death. Let's start our coverage now with A.J. Janabel. He's live outside the courthouse. He's followed every step of this trial, and he's talking about the impact of the decision. But before we get to A.J., we're going to turn to Dave Detling. Dave, we just heard from the mayor of Tacoma. What did she say about this landmark verdict? Well, that city press conference lasted less than 20 minutes. As you mentioned, the Tacoma mayor was there as well as the city manager. They were flanked by members of Tacoma City Council as well as the Tacoma police chief. And the mayor and the city manager were the only two to talk. Uh, they acknowledged the pain experienced by Manny Ellis's family as well as the entire community. Uh, words that we heard uh, saying from the mayor that uh, we will continue to use this moment to guide and inform our our changes moving forward. Again, this was not exactly what some people were expecting today when that verdict came down. Uh, the mayor saying that her heart, again, is with many Ellis's family. Uh, she continued to say that there is the need to continue to build that trust between the Tacoma Police Department and the community, as well as police departments nationwide. But she was very clear, even though at one point she did get emotional, she made sure to point out that the entire Tacoma Police Department was not on trial today. I want to acknowledge the anger, the distrust, the doubt, the fear, the hurt, and the exhaustion that we as black people have experienced as a result of the history of policing in this country. While there is no outcome that would be perceived by all as just, I believe that these administrative investigations will continue to be carried out impartially. And you heard the mayor talk about that internal investigation because that is what comes next. Tacoma Police Department is expected to complete its internal investigation within the next 24 hours. Once that investigation is complete, it'll be up to uh, the police chief Avery Moore to review that inv uh, investigation. And then within 10 days of today's announcement, uh, it will be up to Chief Moore to render a decision against those officers to see if there's any disciplinary action that will be taken to see if there was any violation of the code of conduct as well as Tacoma police policies. Uh, so what remains moving forward yet to be seen, but we can expect those within 10 days or so that again could include disciplinary action or possible termination. We're live tonight in Tacoma, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News. Well, thank you. We continue our live team coverage now with A.J. Janibal, who's been covering this case extensively since the beginning. A.J., tell us what you've been hearing tonight, specifically about this verdict. What's the emotion there right now? We had two plus months of court hearings in the last week has been crazy with everything that was going on in that deliberations room. You had two separate jury members who had to leave because of family emergencies. They had to restart the deliberations several times. And then yesterday, it truly seemed that we were not going to get any specific decision. When it come to this verdict today around three, we finally got that answer. Not guilty across the board for all charges and for all the officers. I got a chance to speak to the people who defended those officers throughout the entire court hearing. We're just very thankful to the jury and, and for justice. For the first time in more than two months, we are hearing directly from the defense attorneys in the Manny Ellis case regarding their thoughts and emotions following the jury's verdict of not guilty on all charges for all of the officers. What they've been through, not only the fact that they've been falsely charged with this horrible crime, uh, but what the way that they've been portrayed and some of the things that have been said by people in government and you know, obviously in the newspapers and, stuff, and such, um, it's just such a sigh of relief to know that the 12 people who actually heard the evidence said that they are not guilty, and they're not guilty of anything. The attorneys tell me, while the officers are happy their names are finally cleared, they recognize the tragic situation of that night in March 2020. We understand, obviously, that Ellis family is suffering and grieving. They're going to continue to suffer and grieve, and we're not ignoring that. Um, and I want to make sure they know that. 
but I do believe this was the correct verdict. Pierce County Superior Court Judge Brian Shushkoff, who presided over the trial, said the jury had a hard and thankless job. And they paid very serious attention and they worked hard and they tried to get it right to the best of their ability and to follow the court's instructions. And if they had resolved this in a different way, I'd be saying the same thing. None of the state's prosecuting attorneys spoke on camera, but Attorney General Bob Ferguson released this statement where he thanked the jury, court staff, and his legal team and extended condolences to the Ellis family. And for family and supporters of Manny Ellis, this is not the decision that they were hoping for. Where we're standing, there was a rally earlier as that verdict came in. You could see the emotion in those people's faces as they began to hug each other. From my understanding, they continue to rally in the city of Tacoma tonight. Reporting live in Tacoma, I'm AJ Janival for Fox 13 News. Thank you, AJ, and thank you for all of your coverage throughout this entire trial and uh, this entire verdict today. As more reaction and response comes in, we'll bring it to you right here. We're on top of every development and announcement here on air and on our website, fox13seattle.com.